Okay, the concept of the vehicle is it's our demonstration vehicle for the three arms of the company. One is the satellite communications, the second is the high definition video uh, over the satellite and uh, on the, uh, the same ground, and the other is the, uh, the Cobra uh, firefighting and uh, rapid response sort of fire vehicle that uh, we'll put together. So, in the, the cab of the vehicle, we've got two positions for uh, the uh, commanders and uh, controllers. Uh, all linked back to headquarters using vector command software through, uh, because that's through the thing that we partner with. Mm -hmm. uh, but it means we can also bring the high definition cameras with thermal imaging from the fire scene or the uh, incident scene uh, back into the vehicle, deal with it through the uh, command uh, system, and also beam it back into headquarters for silver or gold command as necessary to, to see what's, what's happening. So, we can produce a common operational picture from uh, from the ground, really. Um, in the back, what uh, what we've done there is um, we fitted in uh, a Cobra system, which is a high pressure uh, cutting mm -hmm. system into the back of the vehicle, and it's modular, so that, that the whole system that's sat in the back of there can come out on a frame. And you've got uh, 60,000 pounds worth of capability in the back of that vehicle that's sitting on a 17, 18,000 pound vehicle. So when the vehicle goes offline or off the, off the run uh, due to a fault or servicing, you're not losing the capability because you can simply drop it into another vehicle without any major changes. And we've set a standard for the, the, for the bed of the vehicle and it's held in there on six largest bolts. Uh, so that we don't, we're not terribly intrusive on the vehicle and there's no major changes to the vehicle that we need to make. So we can take one out of the showroom, a couple of days we can have it fitted out as a, as a vehicle and it becomes very efficient, very cost effective. Um, leasing, if it's a vehicle's leased, because a lot of, an awful lot of uh, brigades and, uh, and people are using leasing now, then um, you're not intruding on the, the cost of the, the, the lease. So you're not damaging the vehicle in terms of uh, handing it back to the lease company and everything. Um, we also do um, cover blue lighting, so for senior officers' cars where it's their own personal car, we don't uh, do massive intrusive blue lights into there. So we, uh, we fit them into the rear light clusters um, and keep it as, uh, as, as small, as low intrusive as we possibly can, and we also go out and do that. Um, and what efficiency savings or what increase in speed of response? Well, um, would you suggest it can offer? Kind of quotes from um, from people we've talked to, because we talked to all the brigades. Um, the ability to get a, a, a large standard fire truck through uh, smaller roads and denser traffic is becoming harder and harder. Um, and I don't think anybody's in any doubt that the cost of people is 80 to 85 percent of any brigade. Um, it's, it's a horrible thing to have to say, but you know, um, people are going to have to be reduced. Um, using a vehicle like this, you don't send five people out in it, you send two, maximum three. So it, it's harsh, but the fact is. It's the way it's going. I'm afraid it's a fact of life, which you know, nobody wants to see jobs go, but you know. Um, and this vehicle will allow that type of efficiency to occur um, for retained. Uh, fire brigades or people who have a lot of retained, when you call in your, your retained fire officer you have to wait for five of them to turn up mm. this way, they turn out two of the first two turn out in this. If it's more than this vehicle can handle, because this, this can kind of put the stop, stop the clock on, on a lot of fires, then the troops turn out later on. Uh, it increases your response times, um, there's, there's a whole raft of sort of strategic um, efficiencies that can be made in this because if you've got a 10 bay fire station in the middle of a city the land cost is must be huge mm -hmm. whereas if you can have a number of these dotted around in smaller premises around that city you're not losing the capability you're just moving that 10 bay fire station out from the expensive land onto the cheaper land outside the city right. the vehicle itself is it as a shell and a vehicle it's a, it's a production vehicle that we built for Oxide mm -hmm. so as a, a low floor minibus and basically whatever you want to put in the inside, instead so of 17 seats, you can put in there, um, equipment and desks, uh, depend, it just depends what they want. So this configuration has got four um, conference room seats in with riding positions, and uh, three operators positions in the back, and the driver's is an extra operations position in the front. It's got the generator and all the comms equipment in the rear, 
it's got uh, it's conference TV, it's got um, interactive TV to the outside, there's touch screen so it could be an awning on here and then basically they'll have a, a this is another room where they can do briefings and stuff like that. So so the operators are in there, they can get closed off over there so they can do the job. All the bits and goings are in the back. Um, it's got a, a roof mask on this, it's got a full CCTV system on it, uh, pan, pan and tilt zoom camera on the, the mast as well so it can zoom into the incident.